dreams. The dream message of today. It's very specific. I get these messages every night. Well, so it has been for the past week. And whilst I'm, I'm getting these, these very helpful messages, I often find myself thinking, you guys could benefit from these too. Okay, the message for today is very specific. <laughs> and I'll get into what that is in a second, but first we need to understand a little bit as to how these messages came about. You see, you are your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is an extension of you. And it deals with so many other processes of your reality, things that you don't have to pay attention to, like beating your heart and allowing you, well, controlling your bladder, right? Regulating your breathing, moving your diaphragm, everything that is automated within your body is because of your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is doing it. It's also telling you how to think. It's showing you references to bounce your ordinary awareness off of. It's, it's, it's allowing you to think in such a way that you have a kind of sounding board. It delivers into your body feelings so that you can intuit things. You're always with your subconscious mind. It's never without you. Okay. And the same thing can be said for your subconscious mind that exists out into this reality. Have you heard about this? that we're inside of a dream and that really it's our mind that's dreaming all of this, but a bigger part of ourselves, something that we don't connect to and something that we don't often identify as many people call it God, different religions talk about it. And it's also come up in ayahuasca circles as well as other plant medicine circles, because when you take certain uh, plant medicines, psychedelics, I know that's a touchy word here and there, but it's a psychoactive. It amplifies your mind and it allows you to tune into different realms as well. Well, when you tune into these realms, you tune into this realm and you get to speak with God. Dimethyltryptamine does this for a lot of people. See, I was making all of these connections, uh, <laughs> throughout this messy spiritual journey. And I came to learn that there are so many ways to find God. But going back to my, my original hypothesis, you're in a dream. And this is a large part of your subconscious mind. I am an aspect of your subconscious mind. Everyone you meet is an aspect of you playing a role, right? Most of us know this. And most of us become hell bent on trying to integrate with this mind, with God, so that we can become lucid in this realm. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I've come to learn over the years with other meditative processes that sometimes when you keep things separate, it's able to respond to you quicker. And on my search for God, I found that through Christianity, if you can speak to the dream in a particular way and have a certain relationship with it, a refined relationship with it, where it's separate from you and you're praying to it, I found that if you keep it separate, it actually responds to you much quicker. Okay. I have a lot of anecdotal evidence to prove this. <laughs> so much it's freaking weird. And I feel like I'm shaking right now thinking about it. Um, it's, it's insane. People probably lock me up if I told you the things that have just been falling in my lap because I ask the dreamer for it. And then all of a sudden it shows up. I'm talking about movies that shouldn't be made, just being made the next day and on my TV screen after asking, <laughs> it's, oh my, you're just gonna have to trust me for now until I start talking about the stories on this platform. Again, I don't want to freak people out, you know, um, <laughs> the idea of God, even just using that word can trigger people. But understand what I'm saying. If you've been watching my last videos, 
this will make sense to you. It's just an aspect of you. Now, what does this have to do with dreams? So, I found that when I kept it separate, and I would pray at night, I would have dreams, and within the dreams, I would get answers to my prayers, and the, the answers would be incredibly specific, and they were always happening. The more I asked for advice, the more I got it. And this is the, the advice that I think you guys could benefit from. Okay? Now I have a plethora of advice that I could be giving you, but a couple of nights ago I had a dream. And this is long after keeping God separate. Now I've just kind of tuned back into myself and the advice train is still rolling. <laughs> so the dreams are still coming on thicker and thicker. I didn't ask for this. I didn't pray for it, it just happened. I'm in my bed, I fall asleep, and as I'm about to wake up, for about an hour, I'm taking note of my dreams. I become super lucid, and there's this force that fills my subconscious. It feels like my mind, but it is so much bigger. And it's telling me, it's everything else is blurry. It just wants me to focus on what it's saying, and it's saying, focus on the end result. As much as you possibly can. With everything that you do in life, focus on the end result. Focus on the impact that it has on people. Focus on the specifics. If it's a project that you're making, something physical, focus on the dimensions. Focus on, on the materials. Focus on the weight. Focus on what it is and its purpose. And then what will happen is, is you'll become streamlined towards making that end result become a reality. It's the message for today. Focus only on the end result. And to be more precise, it was hinting at the fact, it wasn't even hinting, it was deliberately saying that the more you focus on the end, the more everything else will make sense. And it kept like jocking my head to position. It was, it was just focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. And then I would see myself becoming tunnel visioned. Nothing else mattered. I wasn't being pulled into social media. I wasn't being pulled into other projects. I wasn't being pulled into what other people wanted me to do. It doesn't mean that I was ignoring them or anything like that. Please don't hear what I'm not saying. It just, in the same way that you could get stuck in a portrait, you're painting a portrait of yourself. Maybe it's a, a pencil portrait. Your bladder just stops working. You, you lose your appetite. You forget the time. It's like, your body, your anatomy works for you so that you can get that project done. Everything in your being lines up for what it is that you're trying to create when you become single focused, when you just focus on the end result. So that's what it was saying. And then it was showing me time in between projects, shifting, doing the same thing, focus on the end, focus on the end, focus on the end, focus on the end. And then when I woke up, I did it to the best that I could. <laughs> the best that I could. Other mornings I get straight to work when it comes to doing what it said. Matter of fact, I recently posted a quiz for you guys for free. It's free for this month. Although bear in mind, there is a certain number of credits that get used up every time someone does the quiz. So it could burn out before the end of the month. But what the quiz does is it tells you where you're at on your awakening journey. You answer, I think it's 19 questions, and then you get your result. You don't have to put in your email or anything like that. I just did it for fun. <laughs> okay, so it was actually supposed to be a follow-up to a video where I go through the stages of the awakening, which I haven't made yet. It's up there on my board. And then I would give you this quiz so that, you know, it's, it's a nice addition. But this force showed up in a dream last week telling me that I had to get it to you sooner. And so... I paid for this subscription and then I posted it. You can actually find it on my website at the moment. It's the little uh, present, little pink present that shows up on my homepage, okay? So that's it. That's it. 